Hey everyone, D here. Okay, so um, tonight I was feeling a little, mm, I wanted to do a little simple look. I'll put all the products that I used um, on the side. If you wanna uh, just use the colors, I kind of winged it up a little bit and just playing around um, with a couple of the colors. Um, but anyway, um, no, it's not the Hello Kitty palette, but it's um, similar colors, so. But what I'm going to talk about is skincare. Um, basically, I've been struggling with skincare and what products to use. I've been using Dermalogica and it was getting me, you know, cool results, but I wanted a little something more. Um, I wanted the hyperpigmentation to go away. I wanted um, blackheads and blemishes um, to fade. So what I did was I went to Sephora, our lovely store, and I got this. It's by Dr. Susan Taylor. Um, she is Harvard trained, and she came out in 19, in, I'm sorry, 2007, with her skincare line for women of color. And this is what it looks like. It's called RX for brown skin. This one I got um, is. Um, for acne prone, oily, and combination skin with salicylic acid, um, AHA, and um, brightener skin complexion. Um, it's supposed to help control acne blemishes, blackheads, whiteheads, uh, remove um, poor clogging debris without drying or irritating the skin. It has a, also a beneficial layer of antioxidants, helps brighten skin, and and promote um, uniform skin tone. It has uh, four different components to it. Um, and let me just tell you guys, I've been using it now for over a week. Love it. I bought some um, skin um, lotion. I want to call it lotion, but it's not. It's in a thing that I bought from Avon um, about two months ago. And it just wasn't giving me the results. It was heavy and it just seems like it would take a long time to do. Um, so I wanted something different. So I can't find my um, stand to hold my camera, so bear with me. This is the cleanser. And it's in this nice little pump. Oh, it's a so bootleg, I swear. It's in this nice little pump and it pumps out um, it doesn't lather, but you need to keep your hands um, damp and your face damp because it doesn't lather. But it does apply um, pretty well and it's three ounces for the cleanser. You use it morning and night. Then the toner is in a spray and it's also three ounces. And then um, the moist moisturizer, um, you would actually put this on first. and. Um, it's um, a humectant, but a humectant, all it is is just to keep the water into the skin. Um, really, really nice. I really like this. And then this puppy is the one, it's the Naturally Flawless um, Advanced Botanical Brightener. You put this on top of the moisturizer. And I really massage it in, in this area. Um, I did not put on face powder or concealer or anything so you could get a clear picture of my face one weekend and then I'll periodically do um, other shots and then also uh, you need to use an SPF and I got a sample Sephora is very good about samples excuse me of her uh, skin brightener SPF with 15 in it it's very moisturizing um, just if you use this um, you don't need to use the humectant um, it's this is just really moisturizing it just soaks right into the skin you don't get like that hot filmy feel that you feel like something's on your skin you don't get any of that but because Arizona is so dry and we're going through this up and down weather I get dry patches of skin right but um, below my um, brow line right here and right here and it looks it almost looks like eczema for those of you that know what eczema is, it's that dry, irritation, uh, red, rashy skin. It kind of looks like that. And um, I don't 
like I said, I'm allergic to dang near everything. So I have to really be careful of what kind of um, creams and eye removers and stuff I use to take off my eye makeup if it's too harsh, if it's too oily, if it's too drying because it would literally just tear my skin off on my eyes. So I know that's gross. So what I do use is um, a hydrocortisone ointment. Not the cream, but the ointment. The 1%. Um, it has the anti-itch in it. It helps with the flaking and this really helps on the eyelids. You just wash your face, don't, you know, miss your eyes, and then you just um, put this on your eyelids and rub it in. And um, by the morning, um, two days of that, it's gone. And then you just do a little dose of it to maintain, so that's my thing. So for those of you who are, um, it says on here that women of color and um, so it says, you know, if you are African American, if you are, um, you know, you have um, Asian descent, uh, Latina, um, this is really good for you. She is a dermatologist. She specialized um, in people of color, women of color, uh, for hyperpigmentation to even out the skin. Um, there's one for evening out the skin, hydrating the skin, and of, of course the acne prone. So I highly recommend this. This is the starter kit and it's $55 at Sephora. Or you can go on to um, rxforbrownskin.com and it tells you more about the botanicals. Another thing about this is that I'm allergic to hydroquinone. It has no hydroquinone in it. I'm allergic to sulfate and uh, saphonamides and sulfates are um, healing properties so it's very hard to find um, a skin cleanser or even hair regimen that don't have don't have that doesn't have sulfate in it so I can get away with using shampoos that have sulfate in it it is a little drying though but um, I cannot I cannot use anything internally that is, uh, has sulfate in it um, so I'm allergic to morphine morphine sulfate and um, and I can't put anything on my face with sulfate in it. So, and sulfate also is another agent that helps lather. Um, ammonium sulfate. So, um, and lower sulfate. Those are lathering components. So, this has none of it in it. Okay. So, yeah. I highly recommend you guys try it. Let me know in the comments if you have tried it and you like it. Um, or just let me know in general. Comment subscribe and rate. Bye you guys.